Hey, what's going on guys and girls? Hard Drive 163. Down by the Rio Grande. I'm just trying to get this camera in there. There we go. Maybe turn down a little bit more. Yeah, it looks alright. Got that part? Oh, that's the ERF 2030 pluses. Done a couple radios and this one. This is uh mine. Same one that I was on a little bit earlier. Well, it was yesterday actually. But uh not with this done too yet. Actually it'll sound a little bit better. Not a lot, a little bit. There they are. And uh, also Max Mod. Didoki. It uh, took a little bit to get the flavor of the cocktail just right, you know. They are a drop in physically, but you know it requires a little bit of work, like anything else. They're not self-biasing RF bipolar polar multi-mode transistors like a 1969 just like a 13N10 is not really the same as a IRF 520 they're all different each manufacturer and each one's different that's why I'm digging this so far most radios and even amps for that matter well amps are usually fixed values Unless it's the higher end amps. Hold on a second. Go ahead and look around. However you want to call these, you know, buffer, driver, or you know, pre-driver, driver, and finals. The old style radios are bipolar transistors you set the biasing on the stages. You know, so specific amount of amperage but on all these uh, MOSFET radios it's similar but more accurate to set the gate voltage especially if it's going to be AM and sideband keep the voltage as low as possible to keep a nice linear signal all the way through and this one adjust this one this one adjust this one this one adjust these two See? One for two. So these transistors or MOSFETs have a different unity or gain. They're kind of kind of fight each other a little bit. It's been a while now. I started using the if the guy had uh, an amp, I used the 520s versus the 13 and 10s. Talked to Eric, you know, about these. And uh, Eric did go through the hassle of labeling and checking. You're going to spend a few bucks more. But he did go through the hassle of labeling them, matching them. And I can see the difference. I'll go through the radio here in a little bit. Thanks, Eric. I'll be getting more. I don't know how I'm going to offer these yet, so just bear with me. I'll even take this thing off the antenna and hammer the shit out of it. I guess at the foundry they 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 abused them in a way that we really can't even do it or wouldn't even try. I'm not gonna dead short it. You want me to dead short one? Send me your radio. Yeah, and I'll dead short it and see what happens. But that's not normally what happens. That can happen with your antenna system, but I'm not wasting my radio. I might do it with something else. Find a piece of scrap in here somewhere. Anyways, let's check it out. 30 kilohertz. Nothing's really different here. Thirty, and we'll go to one kilohertz. Nice. And we'll sweep it. We won't really see any kind of weird shit going on. Let's look for out of band. 
30 megahertz. Look, beautiful. Beautiful. Go to 300. Let's uh, back to uh, say one kilohertz and drop down low. Okay, radios wide open. There, check this out. I'm not even running at a very high power. It's very low power actually. Voltage. Then like 180, 170. No flat topping, absolutely no distortion. Taper off. Just drop it back down. Drop the power down. Just look at it at 30 megahertz again. Usually, this is where you find all the weird shit. Like out of band inter uh, dispersed emissions. I don't see any intermodulation distortion. I have a feeling it has a lot to do with these two transistors side by side being matched. Let's take a look at voice. Audio 78910. I did uh, connect it to some uh, little Toshibas and these are pushing them in a more linear fashion than the 13N10s and the uh, higher up 520s. So that's all the way down. Let's go full blast. Audio 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, it'll do 100. No problem. Am I going to let it do that? Will it leave out of here like that? Nope. Ain't happening. If you give it close to 15 volts, it'll get real close just by doing that all by itself. Where'd my focus go? There we go. What's been achieved is it's doing more power at less voltage and less heat with Max Mod and the cocktail of what's in here. Let's see what we got to sound like here. One, two, three, four. I was on the side band. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we'll turn the echo off, or you'll see the difference right there. There's a difference when you turn the echo off on these. And uh, there we go. There's echo on. Some echo we can hear it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And power all the way down. One, two, three, four, five. And wide open again. Audio seven, eight, nine, ten. Break, break, break. Let's take a look at the side band. It's close, it's going to squeal a little bit. Turn the echo off. Audio, 7, 8, 9, 10. Break, break, break. Audio. Audio, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Break, break, break. Audio, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Nice. All the way down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Break, break, break. Audio. That's what takes the time is getting all the modes and the power settings to actually work. There's no weird shit going on. And again, you want to run if it's a purely linear amplifier, you can just plug it in. Alright, let's go to full power again. Full mic gain. Turn that off. Now I gotta reach over here. I'm gonna flip it off the load and off the antenna. Yeah, I can do that. You'll see it, okay? And then we'll key it a bunch of times. I've already keyed it like 50 times. See that? 
That was the antenna warning. Shut itself off. I've probably done it more than 50 times. Well, let's uh, do it 20 times. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. You see the, the harmonics? Eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Screw it. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, four, five. Six, seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. I don't want to bore the shit out of you, but we can just keep doing this. There's a little bit of heat. Not heat, but it's warm. I expect that we've been hammering on it. Eric explained to me that at the, uh, the foundry, the testing that they were doing on these transistors, I was interested then in how I said that they tried like hell to blow them up. He gave me the power output too. And they're capable of doing quite a bit before they detonate. I'm not into that. I'm into least amount of amperage, you know, most amount of clear watts to talk power and longevity. You know, crystal clear. You know, think about it. If your radio sounds like an idiot, it makes you sound like an idiot. You don't want to sound like an idiot, intelligibility is the key, right? And last and be reliable. And I don't know how I'm going to offer these, etc. I basically have them for 98s. If they were going to, and I'm not saying that they were or are, if they seem to be junk, I was just going to throw them away. But they're not. I can see right off the bat by these, by the match, that uh, these things are going to work out pretty cool so far. I'm going to get them in a 98, a couple other radios, like the 4400s, general HP 40s, 98 VHPs, you know, all the radios, even the 497s. I think they're going to turn out being pretty decent. No, I'm not going to sell them. If you, you're a tech or you want to experiment or whatever, maybe your local supplier will have them. I'm not sure if you're going to be selling them in the packs of eight or whatever. Or, uh, call Palomar Electronics in Washington. Call them. See if they'll send you a hundred or matched or whatever. They're going to cost more. But you can get them there. I'm just going to be doing what I always do. And again, I don't know how I'm going to offer them. Each radio is going to take a little bit of time. I still want to do some testing on this. But for what I see so far, and what you just seen... No, I'm not dead shorting it. You can send me one of yours, and we'll dead short it. And watch it do whatever it does. But I'm not taking my radio and risking anything and having to spend half a day on it or smoke. I can show this radio. This is what I talk on. And I don't even have a lid on it yet. So I don't want to destroy my radio. I still got to put it back together. Well, that's the ERF. Uh, 2030s the plus versions hope I didn't bore you you learned something click like or subscribe oh and that is complimented by the max mod and uh, it's doing really good can it do a lot more power it, it can but remember those couple extra watts are like you know, you come out of the yellow and you go into the red line, you go over the red line, you're just tearing shit up. So don't do that. A lot of the times you lose power when you do that. You know what I mean? Literally. Alright. Hey, again, holiday season, you guys. Whether you're in a big truck, a four-wheeler, be safe, okay? People ain't, people don't have the road on their mind when they're traveling. I spend time as an instructor teaching people how to drive trucks coast to coast. So this is always stuck in my mind. I'm not trying to be a preacher. It's the second week or the first week before Thanksgiving and Thanksgiving and Christmas. A lot of people are going to be traveling. They really think they know what they're doing. You guys are the pros. Be safe, alright? 
give them a break. Sometimes you gotta breathe in, breathe out. Scream at them, yell at them, all that shit. We know how it goes. Just be safe. Safety first. Hard drive, 163. I'm out of here.